Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm working on the January 22nd creative prompt. I hope that you've been enjoying all of these. Do go just below, click on show more to see the description box to connect with us inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group where you can share your takes on of the, the daily prompts there and Shut fellowship with others and be inspired by the other posts that you see and hopefully you'll inspire others as well. Today we're doing create a journal page on the word memories and write about a childhood memory. So right off the bat I know that I'm going to take my journal page out just so that I have a little bit more flexibility in working on it so I'm just going to slide this out. And I keep my bookmark here so I know where it goes back in. I'm going to set this aside. And looking at my journal page, I've got it folded in half. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here and lay that on top. And then I've got the dress form stencil. This is a stencil I created when I had a, and I, I still need to get those back in my shop, uh, a So Artsy subscription box and I made this as an add-on because I love the way the chipboard pieces worked that I had. So my theme today, I'm going on a sewing theme. So I want to tell you all of it right up front because I want to wait till the end, but I'm doing a sewing theme. So I've got this dress form stencil. I've got some fabric here and a few other things. I'm going to start with bundled sage distress oxide ink because I like the color. And I have one of these oval blending brushes, so I'm just going to grab some of this color. And what I'm going to do is add these dress forms to my journal page. Just by gently rubbing inside there, I can add a little bit of a pattern. I don't want it super dark because I want to be able to write over the top of it, but I think it would look really cool if the whole page has these dress forms on it. All right, I think I've got a nice pattern of the dress forms. It's really faint in the background. I've showed this before, but when I'm done with my brushes, I will spritz it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I'll use a towel and just work on that until my brush is clean. And then when I'm done for the day, I'll go ahead and wash my brush out in water, and then it'll give a chance to dry overnight. Okay, so I've added the dress form all the way around. I think now what I'm going to do is take one of these shabby stitches. It's a set of four stamps. I'm going to add that to the page. So I'm just going to go right around the outside edge. And I, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it look like I just sewed wonky all over the place. I'll just add some interest around the outside edge. I have one of the little rubber stamps from the Toy Cube. It's a little doll, and I thought that would look kind of neat if I put that on here. So I'm going to put her right about here. Yeah, she's kind of cute. And then I've got from the Sewing Cube, it's a thimble, a pair of scissors, and a, a needle. So I'm going to post that. Let's see, let's put it kind of looking at which direction I want. Then put it like that. I'm using Archival Ink Jet Black. I'm just going to put that right down here in the corner. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, I've got a little scrap of fabric here. I'm just going to fold it in half and cut a little piece off of it. And I think what I want to do, let's see, I've got the word memories. I create little words. I use my silhouette and my printer and print my little words and then I have this little container that I'll put these in. I don't always get these out because I do have the white words on black that I used a lot but I wanted the word memories and I thought that would look kind of neat if I put it on here. So I'm kind of looking at this. I think what I want to do is put it right in the center and then I can put that up here on the upper area. So we're kind of staying all in the same theme. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those together. I'm just going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue. Fine if I just put a few dots on fabric, it sticks really well. If you have a troublesome piece that doesn't want to stay down very well, you can use the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. Just put a few dots, let it air dry for a few minutes so that it's clear, and then you can stick it down on your project. All right, I think my page looks really good, so now I'm going to write on that, and I'll come right back. 
Again, to mention the journal prompts were created by Robin Fennessy of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and I've just been executing those. So we're looking at my page today, and it was all about memories. So I got memories in there, and we were to create a page around memories and then write about a childhood memory. We lived in a farm when I was a kid, and there wasn't a lot of money, so I made clothes for my dolls using cast-off clothing. My step-grandmother showed me how to sew early in life, and that was a big help. Taking apart clothes, saving the buttons and elastic, I made new clothes for my dolls. Soon, my friends asked me to make clothes for their dolls, and that is how I got started in sewing. Making doll clothes was my escape and a way to make a little money. Well, I hope you enjoyed the daily prompts that we've been sharing. I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, comment below if you have any comments or questions. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I do go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I hope you'll come back and join the live stream. Yes, we do stay on for about two hours, but I try to ask answer questions and we do some fun things and I also have prizes that I give away. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye everybody.